Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I share with you how to make an amazing overnight hang roof spray. Now I tell you, this spray is extremely potent that it can help you grow your hair faster and healthier as well so i'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching it contains some amazing ingredients just like rice water and aloe vera and these are two main amazing ingredients that have been shown over the years to help with promoting faster and healthier hair growth so i'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching now before we dive into it guys thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber as i always say i love you so much and i really appreciate you now if you're new here consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family so let's hop into the video guys the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some rice now i'm using basmati rice this is what i cook in my house i just went ahead and i rinsed it off first a couple of times just to remove some impurities now i'm adding some just slightly cool water to um, the rice and then i'm going to go in with some lemon now the reason why i'm adding lemon is just so that this doesn't end up having a really bad smell um but lemon is also very good for hair growth guys because it does help um, add shine to your hair and also it tends to um, contain some vitamins in it that are certainly known to help stimulate hair growth so i just cut my lemon up into like um, just basically like a few a few pieces of it like you don't need too much lemon um, and then I just pop that in there and then I'm just going to close the bowl and set it aside and allow this to soak for about 24 hours now you can allow it to soak for longer if you want to the longer you leave it the more fermented it is going to get um, but 24 hours was just enough you will get to see basically what the rice looks like afterwards now the next ingredient guys would be some aloe vera now you guys know how much i love aloe vera it is so good for our hair really nourishing um basically it's got some amazing um benefits now a few of them that i'm going to mention is that it does help obviously promote healthy cell growth it also promotes um improves the shine of your hair it contains vitamin b12 and folic acid that are actually known to help you know promote hair growth and actually keep your hair from falling out it also has vitamin a c and e and these are known to contribute to cell turnover i usually get my aloe vera from my uh, regular africa even food store but if you don't have this then you can get you know actual aloe vera gel from the shop just be sure that it's 100 percent natural so i just cut a small bit of the aloe vera that i'm going to use for this recipe and then the rest i pop that back in my fridge so i just went ahead and rinsed it off just to remove some impurities and i'm pretty much ready to scoop the flesh of the aloe vera out um you can do this actually using a spoon just like you will see later on in the video um so cut the sharp edges Cut your aloe vera in the middle and you're pretty much ready now look at how juicy that aloe vera is looking really juicy i think i made a video in the past guys showing you guys how to pick the best aloe vera now um you know it's very very easy you can obviously open up the package if it comes wrapped just like mine did and you can see what you're buying um, but you don't necessarily need to open the package to know you've got a really good one you just need to feel it um, so yeah this aloe vera was really good nice and juicy which is basically all we want isn't it like you don't want to go buy aloe vera that has been dry and you know that is not as juicy as perhaps you want it to be or fresh if that makes sense so yeah i'm just scooping the aloe vera flesh out here into a bowl using a spoon and that's basically what it looks like after you completed that process now we're going to go ahead and blend this i'm going to be using a hand blender um for this but you can use your nutribullet or a regular blender if you don't seem to have a hand blender so just blend it remember the longer you blend this the more liquid consistency you're going to end up with um which is basically what we want so i'll suggest that you blend it for a bit longer yeah um so this is what mine looked like it was still a little bit slimy um but it was it was absolutely fine so i'm now going to go ahead and strain it using a regular sieve but again this could be done using a stocking cap or any other thing that you usually use to strain your your diys
so when i do this i generally just allow the aloe vera to uh, pass through the holes of the sieve naturally um without like doing much to be honest so i just let it sit on there for a little while this process is a little bit slow um so but i didn't really mind to be honest but if you want to make it a bit faster then use a stocking cap because that will just speed up the process for you but otherwise you can just leave it alone for a little while and then come back you'll see that your aloe vera juice has poured into the bowl and the, the what's it called the pulp has remained in the sieve so this is what my aloe vera juice looks like now this is uh, perhaps a few hours later because i was really tired guys so i popped that in the fridge and that's why it has sort of a liquid consistency and that's normal for aloe vera so if you let it sit for a little while it just becomes liquid now this is my rice 24 hours later this is what it looks like you can see that the rice has doubled in size and that's how you know that it has properly um infused uh, in the water now rice water helps you know to cool your hair long and stronger it increases shine it also makes your hair nice and smooth which means you're less likely to get you know not split ends and stuff like that and it does help to detangle your hair as well so i just poured my rice into the same bowl sorry rice water into the same bowl that i had my aloe vera juice and that's basically what the both look like okay so um like a pretty much nice and kind of a cloudy liquid now i'm gonna go in with my avocado oil now you can use any oil of your choice ideally liquid so it could be olive oil um i don't know grapeseed oil like any other oil that you've got now avocado oil is extremely rich in oleic acid and monounsaturated fats making it one of the few oils that can actually penetrate the hair shaft and moisturize your hair so basically rather than sitting on the top of your hair and coating it it does it sort of penetrates and it helps to keep it nice and moisturized it also strengthens the hair shaft and prevents breakage and about a tablespoon of that and then i went in with some castor oil now castor oil also helps to lubricate the hair shaft it increases flexibility and decreasing the chance of breakage and also it improves you know downdraft uh, which is basically a common health condition that you know where you get kind of like dry and flaky skin on the head if you don't know what downdrop is so i added about maybe a teaspoon of that uh, and then I'm going in with my essential oils. Now I use the same essential oils all the time guys. If you've been watching me from before you will know that. Um, so I use rosemary, tea tree and peppermint essential oils. Now the reason why I chose these special ones is because of their amazing benefits. Now you can use any other essential oil of your choice. I always suggest guys if you are to use any essential oil do a bit of research around it so that you know what you can benefit from if you were to use those now i added a few drops of those i don't know exactly how much but you can add as much as you want and then i'm going in with my uh, mango fragrance oil now this is just to give this a slightly better smell um to be honest with the lemon in the rice water it did not smell too badly but i just felt like you know i just wanted to give it a slightly um fruity like better fruity smell because i just don't want to have my hair smelling of lemon um walking around you know <laughs> especially now that i'm back at work you know uh, obviously we're all wearing masks but you still want to make sure that you don't have any kind of weird smell around you do you so um so yeah i just mix all that in together and then this is pretty much what it looks like guys and then i'm just going to transfer that into my spray bottle so that it's nice and easy to use um so yeah this is pretty much it um so i'm now going to pop that into a glass just so that it's easier for me to transfer it um so that i don't actually spill i know somebody told me once to use a funnel to be completely honest i just i don't know why i haven't even ordered it to be honest it's just one of those things that you know i don't really pay attention to that much to be honest but maybe i should um, order some funnels just to make my life a little bit easier so yeah i just pop that in there and then i'm going to now go on and put the cap the lid, the lid on and then we're pretty much ready to use it now this spray is definitely amazing i mean some people actually said that rice water used to cut their hair um I've, i know a few people have ex had have had experiences with that 
why don't you try it this way with aloe vera in it and some oils and hopefully that will not happen um so yeah i've used this recipe on my hair before and i did not experience you know excessive shedding or anything like that um so perhaps don't use the wise water on its own because it might be too strong um, but if it's used alongside aloe vera and, and other oils then it makes it a little bit milder for your hair and still gives you the benefits that you need pretty much so i'm showing you guys here how i'm applying this to my hair my hair at the moment yes is really is really bad guys i will take this hair out sometime this week um yeah i've just been extremely busy um haven't really had the time to like think about my hair to be honest but yeah it's not looking the best at the moment i'm wearing a wig um sometimes to go to work so that's that's okay other times when i don't have time you know i just try to do my edges nicely and i just put like a little um headband on and i just go to work like that it's not it's not the best but hey um, I will definitely sort my hair out. So my hair is currently in cornrows um, So I'm just sort of spraying this uh, product on my on my track so between the cornrows um, And then I'm also going to work work the product, you know through my scalp and the rest of my hair so um, Yeah, you can use this overnight like I said guys So spray this on your hair before you go to sleep You can it's something that you can use pretty much every day if you want to um to get maximum results but if you don't have time or your hair naturally has a good porosity then you don't necessarily need to use it that often so you can use it perhaps twice a week um, you know considering that your hair will remain moisturized for the times that you're not using it so yeah just put that on your hair nicely make sure that you know all your hair is covered massage that in spray it on your edges um, you know and massage that in again and then that's kind of pretty much it you can then put your head scarf on and just go to sleep and pretty much repeat um, consistently and I promise you you will definitely notice a change because these um, ingredients have some amazing high growth properties that I believe if you use them consistently you will definitely uh, notice results now the thing is with hair stuff or anything in general to be honest you just have to be consistent um, if you want to see changes i remember when i was growing my hair especially my edges after i had postnatal shedding um sometimes i was just really tired and i didn't have time to think about them to be honest but i noticed that when i started you know applying my treatment consistently massaging that in it was starting to grow a little bit faster so yeah consistency is key so this is pretty much it for me today guys i finished doing this i'm now going to go and sleep um so yeah i do hope you've enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and also leave me a comment guys i do read them all and i'll catch you in my next video so thanks so much for watching bye